Uh, before we get started, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the story of how Silent Night came to be. This is one of my favorite songs and, uh, for Christmas. And um, when I was teaching, I, would, I like to teach my fifth graders about how it came to be. Um, just like we all do, we have our best laid plans. And the church where Joseph Moore and Franz Gruber were uh, serving had big plans for the organ, sorry Gloria, uh, for their Christmas Eve service. And back then, the organs had bellows that you pumped to pump the air through to make the sound come out. And right before Christmas, they found out that the mice had uh, chewed holes in the bellows. So the organ wouldn't work. So here it is almost Christmas Eve, and what are we going to do? You punt. Uh, so in a short time, Joseph Moore wrote the words to Silent Night. Uh, Franz Gruber wrote the music. And on Christmas Eve, uh, Silent Night was first sung very simply with a guitar. Now, this is modern times. And we're used to having... Uh, CDs to sing along with, or MP3 downloads to sing along with. And when I found this, there were no MP3 downloads. There were no CDs to sing along with. So we kind of had to do like they did in punt. And we were relying on our wonderful um, pianist, uh, Sheila Jones, <laughs> Sheila Wigginton, uh, Lisa uh, Armbrester, and our organist, Gloria Sandlin. So um, we've, we've done all this sort of um, the old-fashioned way, you might say. But I hope you enjoy the song. The original words uh, and songs were done by Sally DeFord. And uh, like I say, I hope you enjoy it. If you would, turn to page 207 in your hymnal and join us as you can in our call to worship. The words will not be on the screen, so we're going to have to use the old-fashioned way tonight and use our hymnals. If you would stand, page 207. We'll sing through this three times. Peace on earth and mercy mild, 
God and sinners reconciled. Vile in flesh, the God he see. Hell, thy incarnate deity. Pleased with us in flesh to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel. Please bow your heads. God, today we choose to heart, to listen to your voice, to be still and know that you are God with us. God, we hear your promise of peace on earth. God, we hear about the incarnate deity, that you are pleased to dwell with us in flesh and blood. May we know you as Emmanuel and God with us. And may we share your presence with those around us. God, we hear that Jesus was born, that we no more may die. God, I ask that you bless those in this room. And I ask that you bless those that are singing and participating for us tonight. And just be with us. And let us always sing out. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory. To the newborn king. Amen. Jesus Christ was on this wise when it's his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a pu public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Mom. 
if everyone will take out their hymnals and turn to page 199. This will be a responsive reading. You will read the bold. You do not have to sing it. We'll just speak it. So if you'll read the bold and I will read the small print. You'll start with me. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. All flesh shall see it together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, who has looked with favor on me, a lowly servant. From this day, all generations shall call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is the name of the Lord, whose mercy is on those who fear God from generation to generation. The arm of the Lord is strong, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich empty away. God has come to the aid of Israel, the chosen servant, remembering the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever.
angels are watching night. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, not a cradle is found for thy bed, but a manger of hay in its stead, where the cattle may feed must suffice for thy need. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, the shepherds adore thee on bended knee. Wise men shall another responsive reading so if you will take out your bi or your hymnals again and turn to page 208 the canticle of Zechariah once again the bold will be what you read and I'll read the small print hail to the Lord's anointed great David's greater son blessed be the Lord the God of Israel who has come to set the chosen people free the Lord has raised up for us a mighty Savior from the house of David. Through the holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears and to remember the holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in the Lord's sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender and compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into a way of peace.
Okay, the finale is Silent Night, Holy Night. So if you want to turn to page... Nick, what page is it? 239. Uh, we will sing all three verses, but it will not be to the music that is in your hymnal. So please watch the director. to thank all of you for coming. Thank you for um, the parents for letting your children be with us and sitting up in the big choir. Please give them a hand. They've been so good. And thank you to our characters. Uh, I thought somebody was going to help me out, but he, that's okay. He decided he needed to tend to his sheep, right? Okay. Uh, Jeff, if you will have our closing benediction and a blessing. Again, thank you all for coming tonight and uh, being a part of this special service. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the opportunity to celebrate the, and remember the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Lord, as we move into this final week of Advent in anticipation of Christmas, we, we do so with joyful hearts, and we do so with the hope that only you can bring, and we, we long for Christ to come and to fill us again with his joy and his peace. And now, Lord, as we dismiss from this setting, we ask that you would take us to our places safely. And, Lord, as we go to a time of fellowship, we pray your blessings upon the food that's been prepared for us. But most of all, may your Holy Spirit bless conversation and each relationship on the tables. Send us forth in your peace, we pray in Christ's name. Amen.